When practicing the third etude, here's a technique that I would recommend you try to utilize. First of all, don't be afraid to take it at a slower tempo because the printed speed tends to be at a bit of a breakneck tempo and if you try to go too fast too soon you run the risk of not quite developing the clarity that you need. But when you have a fast passage like this, take the time to try articulating with a double up. So I'm going to go that way my tongue is being trained to move at the appropriate speed, but I'm allowing my fingers the chance to try to catch up with it. Um, so that double up practice technique can be a step to help get you in the right direction. Now, another thing to be mindful of is in measure eight, there is a whole step, and I'll, I'm gonna call it a hidden whole step, between the C and the B flat. The reason why I wanted to point that out is that in years in the past in which I've adjudicated students on this particular etude, Oftentimes, students will play all chromatic notes. Uh, for example, the one in measure five, that's chromatic. The one in measure six, that's chromatic. So then when you get to measure eight, you're going to be very tempted to go, in which I added a seventh note instead of just six. So be careful and be mindful of that. I hope that those couple of tips can be helpful to you as you're preparing for your audition. And as always, best of luck with your practice.